So, as stated on the previous video, part two, if you're a veteran and you suffer from PTSD and other related symptoms, i.e. in my case, I suffer from tinnitus, facial paralysis, and PTSD. When a narcissistic woman or women came into my life, they would quickly tell me their sad stories, how their abusive boyfriends, husbands were to them. They would tell me the worst, saddest stories, and me, having my own issues, I was looking for love. I was looking for someone to listen to me of my issues. Think about it. So this narcissist, man or woman, they're going to quickly catch on to your issues. And they're going to take advantage of those issues. Because they already saw that you are dealing with trauma. You're dealing with relationship issues. You're dealing with a divorce, an abusive husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend. And this narcissist is going to love it, man or woman, because they know that you are looking for that one person that's going to help you cope with your symptoms. This is when the narcissist person comes in. They're going to lie to you. They're going to gaslight you. They're going to manipulate you. You're going to think they're the one for you. You're going to think you found your soulmate. You're going to give them what they want. They're going to give you what you want sexually. You're going to give them what they want supply, narcissistic supply. That, that validation they want it. As a veteran suffering from PTSD, you need to be aware of the tactics that narcissistic men and women use towards you. Because if you don't catch on, you're going to fall for their tactics and you're going to be in a narcissistic relationship. You're going to miss all the red flags and then you're going to be wondering, how can I get the hell out of this relationship? Think about it.